Um, well, obviously, the, the gloss has come off his shine, so to speak. Um, to be honest with you, I was always somewhat cautious. I mean, the, 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 certainly the VC community, certainly in Silicon Valley, viewed the, his, the style that he was putting in, which was basically just to throw as much money as you possibly could at, at all of these companies and be regardless of the valuation. Um, you know, I think, I think that has all got to change. And you're seeing that within SoftBank itself. I mean, you know, one of the biggest issues we've had, this way before the pandemic became very clear, is, is that its investment process was deeply flawed, particularly with the WeWork disaster and needed to be looked at. The problem is, is that the pandemic has just rolled this and made the whole situation 10 times worse than it already was. Richard, uh, good morning, it's Jeff. I just wanted to refocus on the portfolio for a moment here because obviously over the, uh, the coming term, people need to understand what the cash burn looks like in the portfolio companies. Have, have they come anywhere near peak yet? And, and what's your expectation as to how they will trend? Well, the, yes, I would say right now, peak ca- the, the cash flow burn as it, as it exists today is at its absolute worst because if you look at ride hailing, it's down 80, 80 percent. Look at Airbnb. I mean, it's, it's doing nothing at the moment. The same thing for WeWork and a large number of its other. You know, this is the bot. The problem is these companies have a amount of cash that will last them for a period of time. So the longer this situation continues, the more of them, the more and more trouble they're going to get into. If there's a very rapid recovery, then a lot of them are going to survive. I think it's not so much a question of uh, peak cash burn. It's a question of how long is this situation going to continue? The one thing that Alibaba has is the family silver. Oh, sorry, Big Pond SoftBank has is the family silver Alibaba. And I think you're going to see SoftBank sell down quite a lot of it. Is that $41 billion then that's been talked about, is that going to be enough? And is the company going to find raising that money happens over the next 12 to 18 months? How easy will it be in this environment? Um, that's a great question. Um, when last time I looked at it, uh, my, my view was it was absolutely enough. They sold entirely of Alibaba. They could pretty much pay down all the debt and keep most of these, co- most of these companies afloat for a period of time. Again, it depends how long this carries on. But yes, certainly I would say at the moment, the way things are looking at the moment, uh, the assets that it has, particularly in Alibaba, are plenty to keep the company going.